good day, great for little scientists. I'm Teacher V, your scientific buddy. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! For this week's lesson, quarter to week 5, we will describe the effect of the environment on the life cycle of organisms. Take a look at this picture. Can you see the living things in this picture? What about the non-living things? Living things constantly interact with their environment. Each kind of environment or ecosystem is made up of biotic or living and abiotic or non-living components that interact and depend on one another. These are the abiotic components of the environment. Air, space, water, soil, and sun. The biotic components comprise the animals, plants, and humans. They need the abiotic or non-living things to survive. Take a look at this illustration. This illustration shows the interaction between the environment and living organisms. What is the effect of the environment on the life cycle of organisms? First, we have the air. Air is made up of essential gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide. Plants, animals, and humans breathe the air around. If the air becomes polluted, it will be hard for living things to grow well and reproduce. These are some of the air pollutants. Carbon monoxide which comes from burning of gasoline by cars. Next is the nitrogen oxide which comes from burning of diesel fuel by vehicle, coal and oil by factories and electric power plants. Another is the sulfur dioxide which comes from burning of coal by power plants to produce electricity. A mixture of air pollutants and fog produces a smog, which makes the air difficult to breathe in by humans and animals. When pollutants in the air combine with water, it will produce acid rain, which damages the plants and pollutes the water and harm the animals living in water. Next is space. Living things need space as well. A space to live and breathe. Living things like humans, animals, and plants need enough space in order to survive and multiply. What happens when there are too much organisms in a given space? This may result to overcrowding. Overcrowding may result to lack of food, wandering, and diseases. Lack of food Too many organisms of the same kind in an environment compete for one food source and this may lead to scarcity of food. Wandering Because of the scarcity of food, some animals will go to other places in search of food. Outside their natural habitat, Animals may be harmed or may harm others. Diseases Overcrowding may spread diseases faster. Next, we have the sun. The sun is the main source of all heat, light, and energy on earth. All living things depend on the sun in order to survive. Without the sun, life will not be possible on earth. Only the right amount of sunlight should be acquired. Too much or too little will have a bad effect. Water All living organisms need water for survival. 
water may be consumed by living things or may also be a habitat for them. This is the end of our discussion. Are you ready for our challenging activities? We have here a map. You can get a treasure from each map. But before you can get the treasure, you need to complete a task. So, get your pen and paper. For your first task, write a biotic if it is a non-living component and biotic if it is a living component. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Your time starts now. Did you get the correct answers? Good job! You've got a treasure! For your next task, draw a smiley face if it shows a good space for living organisms and sad face if it shows an overcrowding. Number one, rice field surrounded by grasses. Number two, 10 fish in a small aquarium. Number three, three pigs in a large pig pen. Number four, a cat that can play around the backyard. Number five, 20 mongo plants growing beside each other closely. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Your time starts now. Take a look at the answers. Did you get the correct answers? Awesome! You've got another treasure! For your final task, write T if the statement is true and F if it is false. Number one, polluted water helps the turtles to hatch their eggs. Number two, air pollution is harmful to plants, animals, and humans. Number three, children can collect tadpoles in the pond and put them on fire. Number four, tires, bottles, foams, Paint cans are good for terrestrial plants and aquatic creatures in the ocean. Number 5. A human cannot survive in COVID-19 with no face mask, face shield, and disobeying social distancing. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Your time starts now. Did you get the correct answers? Bravo! You 
you've got the last treasure. Wow! Congratulations! We're done with our lesson today. See you next video!